I'm here today. So you know what it is. Hey, good morning guys. I'm Kalen, your host today. So, before we head on to any of our projects, Chris, Brian and myself would like to thank you guys for your tremendous support towards our channel. It's never been easy and so on, but we would like to create more and more content for more car range and so on. Right, so let us go to our next project. It is known as the Toyota Corolla Cross. So um, some of y'all may think like, is it going to be the same as others and stuff like that? Uh, it's quite similar towards the X50. However, this version of the Toyota Corolla Cross is the hybrid version. So for the hybrid owners, if you have any issues or so on, yes, this is especially for you guys. So no need to worry. Uh, we will actually do it in such a way that it's a plug and place setup. So no worries at all. Right, so for the next clip, I'm going to explain each and every speakers, DSPs and also the subwoofer. Following to that, we're going to go for the installation. Alright guys, so we're going to use these guys, right? So it's from Audison, APK1652 ohm, right? So you may wonder why are we using the 2 ohm version instead of 4. So the 2 ohm version sounds a bit more dynamic compared to the 4 ohm. But that doesn't mean the 4 ohm is bad and only the 2 ohm is power, a bit more better compared to the 4 ohm. 2 ohm does take a bit more power compared to the 4 ohm. So do consult with us first and see how it goes. But since in this manner, we're going to use the DSP. So the 2 ohm one will be a better option. But let's say if you're going to use, just want to change the normal speakers in your car. So the normal speakers in your car will be usually 4 ohm instead of the 2 ohm, right? Okay, so I got a sample over here on how the speaker looks like. Okay, so it's taken actually based on AP 6.5. So one thing I like about Audisons is that if let's say this particular mid bass is faulty and you want to change it, Yes, you can just buy the mid base alone, the 2 ohm version or the 4 ohm version or the, even the tweeter as well. You can even buy the tweeter alone if the tweeter is faulty. That is what I like about the Audison actually guys. Right? So, let's go on to our coaxial. So, this is going to be the coaxial. So, very straightforward. It's a two-way coaxial. I don't have um, a sample of it. Right? It's quite straightforward if you ask me though. Right? So we will talk more about the DSP that we are going to use guys. Alright guys, so we have spoken about the speakers earlier. Right? So let's get down to the, our DSP. Right? So as per usual, we will be using our Nakamichi DSP for this project. Right? So it's a 6 channel DSP. Using the RCA is 6 channel. But if you are using as a wired, it's actually a four channel wired. So how this four channel will work will be that two will be for the mid base, the other two will be for the tweeters, all right? So um, let's have a look at the things that being provided by Nakamichi, right? It's always I've been explaining outside of the box, all right? So yeah, as you can see here, right? So. Right, so the unit is size of like, size of my hand actually. Yeah, so this one will be basically, will be height inside the dashboard or behind the dashboard, I'll say that, right? So give you a better look at the RCAs, all right? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and as I said, as usual, there'll be the aux in. And this USB guys, all right? So basically you can put in your own USB pen drive and use it from there, right? So then, this is the cable being provided by Nakamichi itself. So you use this, plug it onto here, and then you can just uh, use your laptop. So one thing unique about this Nakamichi is that you can even use your Android phones actually. Yeah, Android or iPhones, you can actually uh, tune it based on that. But it's always a better option to use a laptop because it's a bigger screen and you can play around better actually. Right? Okay, so the plug and play cable, uh, unfortunately, I'm still waiting for it, right? So once I get a cable, then I will just use it for this project, guys. 
Alright, so we have talked about our DSPs earlier. Alright, and let's talk about our subwoofers. Right, so what we have here today will be the JBL Base Pro SL2. Right, so very straightforward. It's an 8 inch woofer, guys. As you can see here, it's an 8 inch woofer and it powers up at least about 125 rms uh, don't look at the peak yeah? uh, a lot of missions they like to look at the peak so look at the rms how many rms is being powered up right so it has two ways to be fired up all right one is through the speaker wire and another one is through the rca right for this project we're going to use the rca alone for this project right if you want like something boomy experience or so jbl is quite sufficient guys so if let's say i know a lot of uh, nowadays families they don't want to sacrifice the boot space but they want a boomy experience then yes this is a good product to go with guys right so if you have any doubts or anything like that like oh this one can numb with our uh, seat or not yes we can try or alternatively we can even use the 6x8 uh, I don't have the product with me right now so you can come over to Excite Audio and I can show you what will be the difference of the 6x8 woofers and also the 8 inch woofers guys right so I re explain of these items so let us head down to Pits Car Audio for the installation guys Thank you so much for watching our video. If you have any inquiries, you can just uh, WhatsApp us and so on. Do like, share, and subscribe to our content today.